You've figured out how to use the cyber library, but you just aren't sure what to put in that search box? That's okay. Knowing how to choose the best search terms and how to narrow down your search results can be the most difficult part of doing research. But not to worry, there are a few tricks that can help you with this. If you were searching for a phrase, put it in quotes. If you search for study skills with quotes, the computer knows that you are looking for that specific phrase and will bring back fewer results than searching for study skills without quotes. Always make sure you are checking the full text button on the left hand side of your screen. This will limit your search results to those that are fully available in our library. Okay, let's try another. Click on the advanced search link underneath the search box. This gives you a couple of more search boxes which are combined with the word and. This will help narrow down your search results to the specific type of information you are looking for. If you are searching for parasites, you can add animal to the second box to bring back results that discuss parasite and animals. Take a minute to look over the search results you get and see if they are what you are looking for. If you see a lot of results that mention humans but that is not the focus of your research, you can switch out and to not and add the word humans. This will search for parasites and animals, but not humans. You can even take it one step further and limit your results to fields in your discipline. So for example, we can check the agriculture or the veterinary medicine boxes down here. By doing this, the results will only come from resources from those disciplines. Again, it's narrowing down your results to the type of information you are looking for. Now let's say you are giving a speech on whether or not violent video games have a negative effect on children. The search boxes won't work like Google, so you can't put your whole research question in the box. Instead, you will have to pull out the keywords from your research question or thesis statement. Sometimes it helps to map it out. Write down your research question or thesis statement and highlight your key terms and cross out any that won't work as search terms. In this case, negative effects won't be very helpful to you. It's really a conclusion you're going to have to come to based on your research. We will start with video games and we'll make sure that phrase is in quotes. In the next box, we will add violent and we'll type children in the third. And it's linking all three of these search terms, so we should get articles that discuss all three. Looking at our search results, we can see there are too many to look at, but there are still a few things we can try. First, think about the main focus of your article, video games. If we look at the drop down box next to our search terms, we can see that it says select a field. If we don't change this, we are doing what is called a keyword search. This searches for articles that mention your search term. If we change this to a subject term, this will give us articles where video games are the main focus of the article. This helps to narrow down your search results to the articles that are more relevant to your topic. Next, take a few minutes to think about your search terms and how you can be more specific, or maybe there are other ways to describe them. Is there a specific age group you are looking for? In this case, we can change the term children to something like teenager or adolescent, depending on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a specific type of video games, maybe online gaming, try that. And instead of violent, you can also try aggressive or graphic. Always try to think of another way to describe your search terms. You will often get new results when you do this. If you can't think of other ways to describe your search terms, try clicking on one of your results and take a look at the subject terms or keywords that are listed for that article. Do these apply for what you were looking for? You can add one of these terms to your search box up above. You can also click on the links, but beware this will actually start your search over. If you are having any trouble at all getting started with your search, don't get frustrated. Just ask for help. You can stop by the library, submit a question through the Ask a Librarian link, or schedule a help session.